sealed off by police, the site near Athens of a drive-by shooting. Three men, all members of the neo-Nazis Golden Dawn, attacked outside a local party office. Two of the victims, aged 22 and 27, died. A third is critically injured. Two assailants approached on a motorbike. A dozen bullets were found at the scene. What I know, what I found out, is that the motorbike stopped two meters away. One of the drivers got down. They were wearing helmets. Someone that was very slim and tall took out a weapon and executed them. Then he went over to them and shot them again. Then they got on the motorbike and took off. Another MP is asked what the party's next step will be. But aware of tensions, he calls for calm. No oil on the fire, he says. This attack is likely to be seen as revenge for the killing of Pavlos Fisas, a left-wing musician stabbed to death in September by a Golden Dawn supporter. That prompted huge protests, demanding that the neo-Nazi party be reined in. Violence flared. Greece seemed once again to be teetering on the brink of mass unrest. But then the police swooped, arresting six Golden Dawn MPs, including the party leader, all charged with forming a criminal group. Three of them have been remanded in custody until the trial. Golden Dawn has soared in popularity with Greece's financial crisis, getting 18 MPs in last year's election. Its ultra-nationalism and anti-immigrant rhetoric won favor from those crushed by austerity. As forensic officers comb the crime scene, the counter-terrorism unit is leading the investigation. The fear is that an atmosphere of revenge could build, worsening a tense standoff between two sides of Greek society. Mark Lowen, BBC News, Athens.